Valentine's Day and I'm gonna show you how to celebrate with an epic Valentine's Day Get Ready With Me video using CapCut's free desktop app. What's up, friend? Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. Do you sense something? Something in the air, maybe love? We're gonna create a classic Get Ready With Me with a few twists that take it to the next level. Be careful though, because your ex might get a little jealous after this one. You'll see what I mean, just watch till the end of the video. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all of the latest CapCut tutorials and trend updates. All right, let's get into it and open up the app. You can see here in my timeline that I've already imported and rough cut my Get Ready With Me video. And this is fine, but let's add some razzle dazzle to bring it up a notch. I'm gonna start with some stickers. You can find this section on the top left of the screen. There are a ton of different categories to choose from. Trending, mood, cover-ups, and there's even a love section. It's like CapCut knows we're creating for Valentine's Day. I like to go a little bit more subtle for my stickers, so I'm just gonna grab these little hearts and add them to my first clip. I'm also going to add these little pink sparkles to the clip where I put on my red lip just to add a little bit of emphasis. Okay, these look great, let's move on. I wanna keep my viewer as engaged as possible, so I'm going to add transitions just to add some visual variety in there. Let's mosey on over to the transition section. It's to the right of the stickers. For Get Ready With Me videos, I like to use the same transition throughout. I want the video to be engaging, but I don't wanna give anyone whiplash. From here, I'm gonna to go to the movement subcategory and pick right. I'm gonna drag this down to my timeline and drop it between each clip. Then I'm I'm gonna click into my transition on the timeline and head up to the top right of the screen. I want these transitions to move pretty quickly, so I'm gonna change the duration to 0.2 seconds and then apply to all. The apply to all button is a huge time saver, so we definitely cannot forget that. Now that my transitions and stickers are in, it's time for the piece de resistance. I wanna create a scene for my ideal Valentine's Day date and add it to the end of the video. It'll just be a funny little bonus for everyone who sticks around until the end. To do this my way, I'm gonna go the AI route. Let's go back to the home screen of the app and click Create Image. It's going to open CapCut in your browser with a pop-up to select the dimensions. Since this is for TikTok, I'm just gonna pick that one. Next, I'm gonna go down to the photo section. At the top here, you'll see Image Generator. This is what we're gonna use to create our little date location. I can describe the image that I want and CapCut will do the rest. The key is to just be as specific as possible. So here's my vibe. A dimly lit romantic restaurant in Paris. The Eiffel Tower is visible from the window. The restaurant is lit by candles. I'm gonna change the aspect ratio to portrait and click the generate button. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm always so pleasantly surprised by how incredible the AI tool works. Is this not the perfect Valentine's Day date night spot? I'm just gonna select the one that I want and it'll open in my TikTok template here. I'll drag the edges so that it takes up the entire space and then tap the export button. Now that I've downloaded it, I can just drag it right into my timeline. And what's a Valentine's Day date without a date? I'm married, so I hope I don't ruffle any feathers with this one. Let's go ahead and type in a tall, dark, and handsome man dressed in a tuxedo and holding a bouquet of roses. <laughs> oh my God, period, CapCut. Before I export, I'll just tap into the image and then select remove background because I'm trying to insert this man into my date scene. The key here is exporting as a PNG and then checking the box next to transparent background. Now I can download it and drag it into my timeline just like the restaurant. Let me just size him down a little bit and then all that's missing is yours truly. Let me insert my clip of the finished makeup look. I'm gonna tap into my clip and then head to the top right of the screen over to the cutout section. And then let's just scroll to the bottom here and select auto cutout. Now my background is gone and I'm not in my room anymore. I'm in Paris with my date ordering some escargot. Okay, I have all of the clips that I need now, but my video's still missing music. Let's head up to the audio section on the left and I'm gonna search romantic music. I feel like the restaurant would play that, right? Let's drag one of these on down to the timeline. And then I'll just bring my playhead to the end of the video and tap W to cut the music at the end of the video. We love a good keyboard shortcut and we have a whole video that goes over all of them, so definitely check that out. My Get Ready With Me video is officially ready to export and I'm so happy with how it turned out. The date scene at the end really just does it for me. Let us know in the comments what kind of AI background you'd create for your perfect Valentine's Day date, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Happy V-Day! Keep the creative vibes flowing. Subscribe for regular doses of CapCut 101 tutorials and elevate your editing skills.